never finish as usual. <gasps> what is that noise? That's a very rude growl for the morning. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Please excuse my voice. Mabel's, actually. Excuse me. Excuse me. I've had like a really bad cold for like a week and it's just not going. Every morning I wake up, it just seems to be getting worse. Like it started off with like a really, you know when you say it's really achy and you swallow and it hurts. And now it just feels like glass. And, I, I, and then I went through like a tickly cough phase. So God knows what's wrong with me. But yeah, anyway, welcome back to another daily vlog. Gosh, it's so weird vlogging with dark hair like i'm literally just looking at myself in the camera and i'm like who is that who is she but yes if you didn't watch my last <gasps> sorry i don't know what she's, she's not normally like this what is going on what are you doing why are you growling i dyed my hair brown well I say brown well it's gone very dark brown but apparently i'll wash out after a few washes because i didn't actually want to go this dark but then you know what i'm kind of liking it this dark i did want to kind of go for like probably similar color to mabel to be fair and then yeah we ended up going a bit dark i kind of had a bit of a hair crisis um a hair tantrum if anyone knows me i'm a very relaxed and chill person until there's something wrong with my hair and then i can just have a complete massive hair tantrum and it's just like it feels like the world is ending and it sounds really ridiculous because it's literally just my hair but it, something about hair and me just we don't have a very good relationship we never have really ever so yeah basically i think i'll just go through what happened because we might as well just talk about it but basically yeah so my mum obviously dyed my hair which was in my last vlog and then once I got back home, obviously it was like the evening and then the next morning I woke up and I looked, went outside and like went on my phone and I was like, my hair looks really red. Like obviously it wasn't red, but like it just had like really reddy undertones. So I was like, shit. I was like, well, I don't want it to have like, to be red. I wanted more of like a ashy brown. So I thought, right, let me Google it. So it said you need to use green and blue shampoo. So I went into town and I found some blue shampoo. Tried that, didn't work. And then... I was like, right, I'm just going to... Because obviously my mum had to, like, track all the way home to get my hair done by my mum. So, and I wanted it sorted that day. Like, you know when your hair's off and you just want it sorting out? And obviously, like, I'd made the big jump from, like, blonde to brown. So I was like, right, I'll just go to, like, a hair... Like, a proper hairdressing salon and just, like, ask for the advice. So I rang up and I was like, oh, can I come in for a consultation, please? So I went to this salon in Manchester and, like, the guy sat me down and he was like, oh, yeah, like, I can see all the red. Like, it's a really easy fix. We'll be able to get it out. So I was like, oh, brilliant, thank you so much. So like, when can I come? He said, oh, can you do today at half eleven? I said, yeah, that's fine. So I went back that day and then he obviously like put the dye on my hair, like waited, like blow dried it, did it all really nice. And then like, it was quite dark in this salon. It was like, the lighting wasn't like very bright. So like when I had it done, it looked like the red was gone and it just looked a bit more brown. So I was like, brilliant. Walked outside again, looked on my phone, went on the camera and I was like, still looks really red. And I'm literally just like, obviously paid but yeah so I rang my mum and I was like oh she was like oh has he fixed it and I was like well it kind of just looks the same like it's not really gone very ashy and she was like well you've obviously paid to have it done so I just go back and say that you're not happy with it she was like you won't be offended just say look you're really sorry but I hate doing things like that like I hate being that person who has to go back and be like I don't like and obviously because like that was kind of my first proper experience in a hairdresser so I was like oh my god like why have I actually got to do this I was like do I just suck it up and leave it but then I was like no like I'm not happy with it, I'm not happy with it. So I went back and I was like, look, I'm really, really sorry. I hate going back. Like, you've done an amazing job. I said, I really like it. I said, but I just don't think you got the red out, like how I wanted the red to be out. And he was like, oh, like, he was really nice to be fair. He was like, there's no worries at all. Like, um, I can try it again. He said, I did a dilute it a bit because I didn't want your hair to go too dark. So I know you said you didn't want it too dark. So I was like, right, okay, brilliant. So he sat me down on the hair wash thing, obviously put the dye back on. It's a semi-permanent dye, so this will wash out. And then obviously like dried it again. And the red has come out a lot to be fair, but it's gone very dark. Like, cause I've had it dyed three times since, oh, my throat is awful, I sound like such a man, but cause I've had it dyed like three times, it's just gone so dark. So yeah, so obviously I'd come back from the hairdressers for basically the third time, gotten back and I just tried to fix it so many times. It just went so dark. And like, I just went into full on panic mode because I obviously now like, I'm used to it, but I think because I was, I literally went from like bleach blonde, white bleach blonde to this, 
it was just such like her, oh my, like I looked in the mirror and I didn't even recognise myself, I was like, oh my god, like I look so different, I didn't even look like myself, and I started to really panic, and then I had like a full on, I was in such a foul mood, like I never go in bad moods, but I was in the worst mood ever this whole day, it was awful, um, and then I was obviously messaging everyone, they were like, no, it looks fine, like it looks really nice, and then I was like, no, like what do I actually do? Um, and then I woke up the next morning and I washed it. I washed it a few times because obviously, like, it's the stuff that he put on was semi-permanent. So he said it'll wash out after, like, a few wa washes. So I basically tried everything. I tried head and shoulders, bicarbonate soda. I bought some, like, really good clarifying shampoo. Um, I got blue shampoo. Three days later. Um, I think I'm going to head into town because I need to get some food shopping. And I also need to go collect an order from Zara, so I'm gonna go do that. It's those joggers that I think I've spoken about in a previous video. I've got them in the dark grey. So I'm very looking forward to binge wearing them for the next month or so. Um, but yeah, it's really miserable outside. It's so rainy and wet. She's found something to chew, of course. I also need to get Mabel some like more chew toys because all the ones that I got her were for when she was like a little puppy and she's now like actually chewing them up and like eating them so I need to get some stronger ones where she's not gonna like chew it up. Will you stop chewing that? Right, let's pop into town. Zara parcel. Uh, it's literally just a pair of joggers, it's not anything very exciting, but I've done all my food shopping as well, which is good. Um, I'm gonna make some lunch in a bit. I might just have a ham and crisp sandwich. But yeah, when I was younger, I used to go to Tesco. I would just binge ham and crisp sandwiches for my lunch every single break time. Um, I'm just really craving one today, so I'm gonna make a ham and crisp sandwich. But yeah, these are my joggers, so they're like the light grey ones, um, but the dark grey. Oh my gosh, you know, like, this cold that I've got? You know when you're just so blocked up, like, my ears are blocked up, my nose is blo <coughs> it's blocked up? I can't even hear myself. Like, I just, I'm just hearing this, like, ringing in my ear. But yes, these are my joggers. With the wide leg. She's really cute. Um... I can't wait to wear these. So cute. That was that. But yeah, I'm gonna go make some lunch. And then I need to take Mabel outside. I know I said I was gonna take her out. Um, just to like run around a bit, but it is chucking it down with rain outside. And apparently Millie Dashans hate the rain, so I can try and take her outside, but chances are she's not gonna like it. She might do. We'll try anyway, we'll see. Um, we also took Mabel out for her first kind of proper walk. Yeah, so we took Mabel out. Um, basically, we didn't realise that like it wasn't going to be like a full-on proper walk. It literally took her ages to like get downstairs. So I think what we'll probably do is carry her. I do have 
the vlog. I did like a little vlog on my TikTok just because I've been posting loads of Mabel over on there. So I can either like attach it into this video. Come with us to take Mabel on her very first walk. So I'm just going to pop her in the harness. I have trialed this a few times because I didn't want to just put it on her straight away and her not like be used to it. This is the hard bit just getting it over her head. Also, I've got a really bad cold, so please excuse my croaky ass voice. Oh, come on. Is that on properly? Is it on? Wow, look at that. Okay, let me just tighten it. He's being so good. You're being really good, aren't you? Right, I think that's tightened. <laughs> oh, she looks so cute. Oh. Are you ready? Are you ready? We have got the walking bag, which obviously has the poo bags in, which is really handy. And then I've just got a load of treats in this pouch. And then this is Mabel. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? She's like, what is happening? Right, let's get up. Come, Mabel, get up and walk. Come on. So we realised when we got downstairs that we probably wouldn't be taking Mabel on a walk because it took her about 15 working days just to get down the lift. <laughs> she was just oh. sniffing around for ages. To be fair, it's all like completely new smells for us, so it was kind of expected. Yeah, I think it was just really overwhelming for her at first. And then she was just sniffing around the grass. Obviously, there's been loads of other dogs around here, so I think she's just kind of sniffing all of them out. Yeah, so once she had a little sniff around for a bit, she was a bit slow, a bit kind of, like, shaky. But after a while, she soon gained some confidence and then she started to run around a little... And then we decided to take her off the lead because she wasn't going very fast and it's quite secure around here anyway. Yeah, she just kept waddling around and she was following us so she knew that like, she wanted to still stay by us. And then we just let her kind of go explore. She was getting really excited here. This is so cute. Yeah, she kept shaking. I think it was from the harness. I mean, she didn't really need a harness on, but... I didn't know I was going to take her off the lead, so next time I think I'll just have a collar on her. She looks so tiny here. So cute. We were waiting for her to do a wee, and then here she does one finally, bless her. I think she was just getting used to kind of like the surroundings before she actually went to the toilet. So I just gave her a treat, but there was other dogs that came outside, so I don't think she was interested. And yeah, she got distracted and ran off. And then I really wanted to, to interact with the other dogs because she's not really been around many dogs yet. I mean, these dogs were quite large compared to her, so she was a bit terrified. She kept, like, hiding behind my foot, which was really cute. Sorry, my throat is getting so much worse. Um, but, yeah. And then this was a normal-sized ball next to her. She looks so tiny. It's actually so cute. But, yeah, I think she just wanted to play with these other dogs, which was really sweet. Um, but she absolutely loved her first time going outside properly. And I think we'll just have to build her up until we can take her out for her first proper walk. Yeah, it was really cute. Um, she did really well. So I'm going to take her out again today, but obviously vlog it on here. But the weather is awful, so I hope she doesn't mind that it's all, like, wet. I need to also... I've ordered her, like, a proper name tag and ID tag that's got like my details and everything on it. So I need to get that out of the post box, but we've lost the key for the post box. So I'm gonna have to ask reception, but I don't know whether they're gonna be able to sort it out today. But yeah, then we'll take Mabel outside and I can show you her running outside. It's so good now, like I went to my mum's yesterday and my, and my dad's and my nana's did like a full like 
detour of like going to see the whole farm. Um, and we could just put her on the little lead and like, oh my god, my throat is awful, but yeah, we just put her on the lead, it was really cute and she can just like, it's nice to just like be able to let her just walk beside you instead of like carrying her all the time. Isn't it sweet? <laughs> just got progressively worse um but yeah i've edited a video and done the thumbnail so, yeah, i just need to find some energy to get up and go make some tea Maple's here looking after me on his feet. 